I recently picked up a few recon getaways from Target since they're on sale, and I figured I would make some kind of really cool custom mock slash diorama with a few really cool figures. I wanted the figures to feel more Halo CE slash Halo Reach, so I'm making a Heavy Grunt and a Halo CE Elite. With the Marines, I'm not really doing too much, but we're going to focus mainly on the Covenant here today. But for the Marines, I did make a little bit of a chest piece, like an ammo pouch on the front of the Marines chest and some on the sides. Kept them really simple since they're not going to be shown as much in this diorama, but they still look really cool. Just using some green stuff here to make this ammo pouch and using water. I found that water is a great tool to use with green stuff and really helps with sculpting a lot. Now for the Elite. I just started with a little bit of green stuff on the very top and then I wanted to carve out his chest piece by using my X-Acto knife and then some of these pliers right here. Just had to make it seem more open like it looks like in the video game. I also added green stuff and wrapped it on the very side to then give it that bigger feel like it does actually in Halo CE. I actually really like Halo CE Elites a lot. There's something about them that seems so interesting and unique about them in any of the Halo games. Halo 2 and Halo 3's art style kind of branched off into a different style of Elites, but Halo CE was just a little bit more unique and different, and I really like them. Moving on to the feet. I just added green stuff on each side and carved in a toe on each side and then did some water just to smooth it all out on a brush. For the grunt, I did a lot of sculpting work on the helmet. Now, I've never made a helmet or a grunt like this before, so I really didn't have much to go off of but a old toy that I had but I think the helmet turned out really good. Using a toothpick to make the eye holes a little bit larger for later on. Then we're moving back to the Elite and we're gonna make the thigh guards. Now the thigh guards were really simple, nothing too crazy. Back to the grunt, we need to start on the chest piece here. Now this is a little bit smaller than the one I actually make for it later, but the principle is still the same. Just going to be wrapping it around with green stuff, making sure there is a slash in the middle, and making it look as even as possible. The grunt is really the main focus point on this whole build, if I'm being honest. I really wanted this grunt to look crazy and good, so I put a lot of time and attention into him. adding another piece that wraps around the side, just helping his methane tank kind of stay on him a little bit easier with this piece of green stuff. And we're also wrapping one all along the bottom and smoothing that out at the top with some water and this brush. Now the water brush technique I found to be extremely helpful. If you haven't given it a shot, you should. Uh, you don't need to overload your brush with water too much, but just a little bit to make it seem a little bit smoother and get a little bit of water on the green stuff. I also wrapped two little slim pieces on the back around and then filled them in on top. And then I started smoothing it out on the base of those areas with my X-Acto blade. Now, smoothing out something this big did take a little bit of time, but after a while, I got the hang of it. In making one of these, I now know how to make another one, and I really do want to make more of these grunts. They look absolutely sweet. Carving out this little piece on the bottom here to make it look a little bit more similar to the game and using the back of my brush to smooth it out how I need. Doing the same thing on the other side as well. And we have to cut away a little bit on top of the green stuff here just to make that opening a little bigger. And then we're gonna add another V-like shape in that opening. Not too bad. Continuing to smooth it out, and that took quite some time if I'm being honest. Moving back to the Elite, we're just adding the little mandibles on the side. And we're 
are also going to be adding his side wings. In Halo CE, these had like really interesting shapes for their helmet, these elites, and I really like how they looked, so I tried my best to imitate them the best I could. Moving on to some paint. This is going to be a base coat of Ray here. Didn't really, I wasn't really too careful with it considering I was painting over the whole entire grunt, so I just kind of slathered it on everywhere. But if you want to be a little bit more careful with yours, taking off the arms and all that, feel free. Moving on to black, I just had to blacken some areas that were going to be detailed just in black, just like it looks in the video game. So I did that around, and then I started with white. I wanted this grunt to be white. I've never actually made a successful white figure in my mind. I've made a few white figures in the past, but they're really hard to do, and I was determined that today was going to be the day that I actually made this grunt fully white. And With the Marines, I just did kind of a washy mix for the ammo pouches up on top, and that's pretty much it for those, not a ton with the Marines. Going over the base coat on the legs, we're just going to be using a different skin tone for the grunt. And I did that all across the grunt's body, and I even got into those little nooks and crannies. I really wanted this grunt to feel good, feel like a project that did take me a long time, which it did, but kind of a standout piece for this diorama, and also for me. I don't have a really insanely cool looking grunt, so it was important that I made this guy look really good. Just added a little bit of highlights here onto the back, and I really like how that looks. And now for the head, just added a little blue in those eyes and some silver off camera. Back to the Elite, we're doing an overbrush. I went outside and I spray painted him gold, and I didn't really like the look, so I'm going to overbrush with a different kind of gold from Citadel Paints. This, I think, looks way better. It makes it look a lot more like a Halo CE Elite than the other gold did. Styrofoam time. So now that we have all the figures made, I need to get to styrofoam and making this diorama. I had this vision that these marines were jumping over some kind of a cliff and the other one was lowering himself down to save his brother. So I had to figure out a way to do that with styrofoam here and my idea was just up on a cliff mountain, uh, this marine's driving by, the covenant's chasing them, and he has to jump into the other marine's arms and hopefully as they climb up they also don't get shot. High risk mission, but pretty awesome the way it looks in the end. I start taking my knife and just start carving away on this styrofoam pretty carefully. Keep it away from your fingers, obviously, but I've done this so many times, it's pretty much secondhand at this point. Continuously carving around in different areas. Uh, don't just do all the way up, I do it from the side, do it from the back. You kind of get the hang of it after a while. Now we're sticking a little bit of an elevation piece onto the bottom, and then I'm gluing these two rocks that I made into the spot they need to be. Just like that. Moving on to black paint, we're doing a base coat of black paint, and then we're gonna be going into a gray paint. But everything I normally base coat in black paint, just in case you missed something, really helps a lot in the end. Once that was finished, I moved over to a gray paint. This is kind of a darker off gray paint that I got from Walmart, cheap apple barrel 50 cent paint, and it always works well for styrofoam, so. I just continuously applied this all the way along like I did with the black paint, except for on that middle section kept that black, but anywhere on the rocks I just applied the gray paint on. Now moving on to some white. We have a white overbrush here, and this is gonna make the rocks really pop out. And when I add my snow texture, liquid text gel later, this is also gonna help with a few little spots if I do miss, to just make everything feel a little bit more frost bound and snow covered. I attached a small little clear piece that I got from the Grunt Goblins, and I just shoved that right into the foam and then stuck it down. I stuck down the mongoose with some hot glue. Pretty simple, but it still actually holds up really well, and I didn't think it was going to hold up that well, but I'm happy it did. 
added some little foot places for the covenant. Added a stick in the back, which was going to be how the Marine is lowering himself down to save his brother. Once that was done, I just applied some Liquitex gel all across the rocks, and I also hit it with a paper towel, and that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this diorama. Alright guys, here is probably one of my cooler mocks in quite some time just on the overall Covenant figure aspect and on the Marines and just on the overall story. The idea is this mongoose is going across and this Marine has to jump off and this other Marine used his shotgun, tied a rope to it and then lowered himself on this side of the cliff so he can catch this other Marine as this elite, like Halo CE style elite and this really cool Halo Reach grunt starts shooting at him. And all in all, I thought this was a really cool little project to do and cool little diorama that I can put up on a shelf and leave there. I have to do a little bit of touch up work just on the black down here but for the most part completely done and I think it looks really awesome. Also guys don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a ton sharing with friends as well. This was really cool. I definitely like my runt here. I mean he is probably one of my favorite figures I've ever made. He's decently detailed. He's all made out of green stuff and he's really really cool I think. Same thing with the Elites. Uh, the Elites kind of like a Halo CE mix of just weirdness. I just kind of did whatever I wanted with this Elite but I wanted to make a Halo CE kind of style helmet and uh, I thought it turned out pretty good. The Marines are really simple, didn't do much with them, just a little bit of green stuff but uh, yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed and thanks so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments down below what I should do next. If you want to see more of these figures you can follow my Instagram also in the description down below and uh, that's about it. Anyway, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a great rest of your day and your night. Peace out.